My name is Ruth, I'm part of Oxfam's humanitarian team responding to the ongoing crisis in Gaza. I'm here today in a makeshift camp in Amawasa Khan Yunis, where Oxfam, with our local partner EWDSA, has set up a safe space for women to deliver psychosocial support activities and create a place for them to connect and talk about the issues that they're facing and try and find collective solutions. I joined the discussion today where women told me how difficult it is to find some of the most basic items here in the market. They specifically mentioned the absence of sanitary bags or the fact that where they do find them, the price is simply out of reach for them and they can't buy them. They said that instead of using sanitary bags, they're resorting to using bags and in some cases potato sacks because they don't have anything else available. This is particularly different, difficult for adolescent girls who are getting their first period during this war and it's an extremely stressful time, even in normal circumstances, to go through this as a teenage girl. Oxfam has been trying to bring in hygiene items to the south of Gaza since May and has been unsuccessful since May when the Rafa crossing was closed. The situation here, as you can see behind me, the camp is uh, down in a bit of a dip. Oxfam is really, really concerned about the impending floods and winter that is going to have devastating effects on this population. In order to provide the most basic life-saving humanitarian services to people in Gaza safely, we need an immediate and full and lasting ceasefire across the Gaza Strip, and we need unimpeded access to humanitarian and commercial goods immediately so that we can not only save lives, but help people recover from this.